This is a video I've been wanting to do for a while, but I just didn't have the time to do it because I was busy. And you're probably thinking, what video are you going to talk about? Well, in this video, I want to be talking about Tekken 8. Uh, what do I want to see in Tekken 8's story? Now, I'm not going to be talking about gameplay or character rosters or what I want to see in Tekken 8. I just want to be talking about what do I want to see in the story in Tekken 8. Now, granted, I know it's way too early for a Tekken 8, and we'll probably won't get a Tekken 8 until, like, 10 more years, or 2027, 20, or something like that. And I know that the next Tekken game is going to be Tekken X Street Fighter, which is the next, is the sequel to Street Fighter X Tekken, which I hope that's a better improvement for Street Fighter X Tekken, because <clears throat> that game sucks. But, what do I want to see in Tekken 8 story? Now, if you've been playing Tekken 7 story mode, the story is that Tekken 7 was all about the final battle between Kazuya and Heihachi Mishima, father and son, the final story between the Mishima bloodline. Which is not exactly true, we still have Jin and Kazuya. So, Kazuya killed his father. And we see a post credit scene that Jin Kazama has finally woken up from his coma. And we learned that Kazuya has caused massive world domination, and Jin Kazama is the only one who can stop him. So, that is our clip and teaser for Tekken 8. But, I'm going to be talking about Tekken 7 from another video. But right now, we're going to be talking about, what do I want to see in Tekken 8? Number one. the Alright, let's talk about the plot. Number one, the plot. So, in my theory is, the plot is... Kazuya Mishima has decided to take over the Mishima Zaibatsu, but due to the fact that he has the Devil Gene, his all his humanity is gone. So, Kazuya Mishima decides to cause massive world domination against the entire world. Jin Kazama, on the other hand, doesn't know what to do. Since, since Kazuya's army is so big, he needs help. So, Lars, Li Shaoyun, and Alicia, or I forget her name is, I think it's Alyssa or something, at least, I can't get her name, are, are going to help Jin out to stop Kazuya. Now, who would be part of Ka Jin Kazama's group? I would think Nina Williams, because we all know Nina Williams is a good friend of Jin, and she was her personal bodyguard, so it makes sense she'll be by her side, by his side and stuff. And then we have Ha Rang. Now, here's my theory about Ha Rang. If you play Tekken 7, we all know that Ha Rang beat Devil Jin, and then he lost his eye. And where's the eye patch? So my theory is that Hao Rang is probably going to team up with Jin, but only one condition. He wants to have another rematch with him. And Jin's like, sure, whatever, I don't care. And let's talk about what I really want to see in Tekken 8 story. The return of Jun Kazama. Jun Kazama has been one of the most mysterious characters in the entire Tekken series. She first appeared from Tekken 2, and then Tekken 3, we thought she was dead, but in the interview, say, Harada has said multiple times that Jin Kazama is not dead. She just disappeared, but we don't know where she disappeared at. I think she's one of the most highly demanded characters in Tekken. Like, here's my theory on what would happen to Jun Kazama. Now, in the fight between Jun and Org, Jun Kazama was in a coma. And then people from G Corporation took her body and put her in, put her in some generic sleep, like when Nina and Anna Williams did to them. So she's in a giant—I cannot pronounce it—but she's in a freezing tube and stuff like that. And Kazuya doesn't even know aware. I mean, doesn't know about her whereabouts and stuff like that. So they never tell Kazuya about June. So in Tekken Eight. She's awoken up for her freezing coma, and then she finds out about what her son's been up to, and then she learns that Jin's gonna kill her son. I mean, her father. So, Jun Kazama would just probably be the... In my opinion, Jun Kazama should be part of the main story, because Jun will probably convince Jin and say, Look, killing your father is not going to solve anything. It's gonna cost more hate. If you kill him, you're no better than he is, and you're going to be just like him. But Jin doesn't want to listen to his mother because, look, if I don't kill Kazuya, the world is in jeopardy, and stuff like that. So, my opinion is, 
Jun Kazama should make a comeback in Tekken 8. If Jun Kazama doesn't come back in Tekken 8, then I'm going to be very disappointed if they don't bring her back as a character. Or hell, you know, bring her back as a DLC from Tekken 7. Like, you know, there have been talks about the whole legacy characters, and since we're getting the whole that Final Fantasy character, what's his name? It makes me realize we really want legacy characters, and I think Jun Kazama should be a legacy character. Here's what they should do. Let her be part of the legacy character DLC pack, and, okay, and, you know, make her her own side story and explain about her whereabouts and origins and stuff like that. And let, and then explain about her relationship between Kazuya and June, because their relationship is very unknown. And let's talk about my um, third topic. I think Tekken 8 should be the last story of Jin Kazama. Now, Jin Kazama has always been the poster boy for Tekken for many years. Now, people forgot that Kazuya was the original main character for Tekken. And, well, Tekken 1 is Kazuya. Tekken 2 is Heihachi, if you want to count Heihachi, because he did defeat his son in Tekken 2. Then 3, it was Jin. 4, Jin. 5, it was Jin. 6, it was Lars Alexanderson. And 7, it's all about the Mishima bloodline. So... The Tekken story has always been the Mishimas. The main characters have always been the Mishima family bloodline and stuff like that. I think that in Tekken 8, the reason why I say they should end Jin Kazama as a character is because Jin has been one of the most depressing emo fucking characters in all of fighting games. All he just wants is to get rid of his family curse. He wants to get rid of the Mishima bloodline, and he wants to get rid of the Devil Gene. I think Tekken 8 should be that story. And the thing is, they should let Jin have a happy ending. Like, he finally gets rid of the Devil Gene, and he finally is free from the damn curse. So, in my theory is, Jin will probably live a normal, peaceful life with his mother, and then years later, he'll probably marry Ling Xiaoyu and stuff like that and have a kid or a daughter or whatever. Yes, I'm a Jin and Xiaoyu shipper. Deal with it. And let's talk about my uh, fourth topic. Um, number four, what the fuck is going to happen to Ling Xiaoyu? Like, okay, Xiaoyu is one of my favorite Tekken characters. and She's one of those characters I love playing. And seeing that ending with Claudios makes me realize... What the fuck just happened? And, okay, all we know is that Xiaoyu is looking for Jin, and Claudios just spotted her. She beats Claudios, and Claudios admitted that she, he's been defeated, and she'll let her join her group to find Jin. And we all know that Claudios is just using her to lure Jin. And that's it. I think Ling Xiaoyu should be part of the main story. And here's why. If she can be her own character, her own main character in the Tekken Blood Vengeance movie, then why can't she be her be part of the main story as well? I mean, she is a she's a Chinese girl who wants to build her own amusement park, then falls in love and has feelings for Jin, and then Jin left her, and then she wants to find Jin Kazama because she he, she deeply cares about him. So I think that she would be perfect for the main story. Let her be part of the main story. I want to see her be part of the main story in Tekken 8. If not, then I'm just going to be disappointed as hell and shit. Okay, so what else do I want to see? Okay, let's talk about the the characters. Five of the characters. I feel like they should end some of the characters in Tekken 8. Like, give them a proper conclusion. I mean, if Namco Bandai has no reason to bring these characters back from other Tekken games then they should just give him a proper conclusion and stuff like that. That That's just my opinion. All right, so, and finally, let's talk about the last topic. The final battle between Jin Kazama and Kazuya Mishima. How will this final battle work? The thing is, I do not want this story to be the same repeated story as Tekken 7. I think that... What do I want to see in Tekken 8 is, number one, they need to explain about the Devil Gene. All we know is that the Devil Gene came from the Hachigo clan. That was it. 
but they really need to give us explain that how to cure it, how to stop it, how to get rid of it. You know, you know, they say that Claudios has the power to kill demons and devils. It makes me wonder, wait, so Claudios can be the one to cure Jin and stuff like that? So anyway, let's just talk about the whole what do I want to see in the final battle in Jin versus Kazuya? Now, Kazuya will probably explain like this. Even if you kill me, you will never get rid of the devil gene because it's part of your blood. And it will always be part of your blood for the rest of your life. And my theory is Jin is probably going to beat Kazuya, but he won't kill him because he will destroy his devil gene himself. But here's the thing. I think the main villain in Tekken 8 is going to be Devil, Kazuya's Devil Gene. Because, you know, Kazuya is evil, pure evil, because of the Devil Gene itself. So, I think that Jin is probably going to beat Kazuya, but he was going to kill his Devil Gene. And that's probably my theory. So, that's what I want to see in Tekken 8. Um, what do you guys want to see in Tekken 8's story? Please leave a comment below. Um, next time, I'm probably going to be talking about what are my personal thoughts on uh, Tekken 7. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.